I'm Haley. I'm Sean. And welcome to Haley Hates Everything. I pick a surprise topic. And I get high and opinionated so we can discuss it together. So grab a snack and hang out with us for Haley Haley Hates Hates Everything. Everything. Hello, everybody. We are just hopping on before the show starts just to let you know that <laughs> there's some some issues. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, we were in a different place where we are at our guest house, which, you know, we'll talk to you about in the episode. So the sound is a little weird. It's just a little more echoey. And yeah, yeah. I tried my darndest to make it work out. Also, this is a longer episode because we were just rambling on for <laughs> ages. It was actually two hours and I'm not even done editing it yet. So I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's going to be longer than what we've been doing lately. Also, <laughs> we were very tipsy. We had been drinking wine for a majority of the day. Mm-hmm. We had gone to a wine tasting. We True. had tastes. We had a couple of glasses of wine at the place. Mm-hmm. Then we came and back. Then a bottle. We came back to our guest's <laughs> house and had at least a bottle yeah. at that point. Plus, I was also high. So, <laughs> And I think, I think our guest got high, too, right? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> this train is, again, off the rails. We tried to stay on topic. It didn't work out very well. And we just wanted to preface this episode by saying, I hope you enjoy it because we love our guest and we had a lot of fun. But it is us just rambling on about a variety of things. And, you know, sounds a little different because we were in a different place and we were very crunk. Well, now that I've said all that, enjoy the show. All right. Welcome to Haley Hates Everything, your narrator and antagonist, Sean. Narrator? I, I would call you the host, and I'm the hostess. Okay. With the mostest. Hi, everybody. I'm Haley, and we have a guest, which I'm super excited about. But before we get to our guest, <laughs> I just want to say it's hot as fuck. And so we have a fan going. And that's what you're hearing, so just, you know, go with it. That's, I just want to say that. So, top of the show, let's introduce our guest, which we may have another guest at some point, who knows. But, (laughs) this one, I have known for a really long time, and this one is named Nigel. Hey! Yes! This is the famous Nigel. If you follow me on Instagram, just me personally, if you're an actual friend of mine, if you follow the blog, you've seen Nigel, you've heard about Nigel. This is Ni- This is fucking Nigel, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry about the sound, apparently. I don't have bedroom <laughs> acoustics <laughs> like Haley and Sean. That's totally fine. It's fine. Nigel has a very pristine apartment. There's a lot of wood. To say the least. There's wood. Uh, there's not drapery, so we don't have that softening of the sound. It's just, it's not a big deal. I just knew that the people would be like, what the fuck is happening? They're not in their usual spot. This is why. We're at Nigel's. We're hanging out. And and the fan is on. Like I said, it's fucking hot. I'm, I'm not okay in hot climates. I'm not made for, well, you know, I was, I was bred in a place that was very hot <laughs> and humid. I was birthed there. It's part of my heritage, hot and humid, muggy ass, big ass mosquitoes, that kind of thing. All right. We also had boiled peanuts and fried ogre. So that part was great, but you know, it was hot as fuck there. And apparently I should be okay with that in my genetics, but I'm not. And so anything over 75 is like, fuck everybody, I gotta get out of here. For everybody who knows me, we know I'm cheap, so the AC ain't going any lower. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. (laughs) Yep. All right, are you guys ready to hear the topic? All right, I'm gonna have a sip of wine. Oh, I've been waiting all day. Nigel, what are we drinking? We're drinking a little Stoller Family Estate 2018 Reserve Mm. Pinot Noir. Oh, I see how it is. It felt very familiar and comforting. I figured we needed warm hands around us Mm. for this. That feels nice. That feels good. I'm just thinking about it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, Sean, what is today's, this week's topic? All right. I mean, there's numerous topics we could go over, but I thought maybe since this is still towards the beginning of it, we'd go a little bit more safe than where we possibly could go. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I'm just going with... Like other drivers. Because I know you hate other drivers. You just need people who are driving on the road and not you? Is that? Yeah, like everyone else. Oh, okay. This is other a drivers. broad topic. Can we say other parkers? Because I have yes, a parking that issue. That as well. That yes. as well. Haley doesn't drive, but she's been in the car and has... Can we... I feel like people are going to be like, oh, what? She's fucked up. She doesn't drive. And I'll be like, guess what, people? I have a panic attack when I get behind the motherfucking wheel. And so be so, thankful. Yeah, yeah. Count your prayers, all right? Count the lucky stars above you that I am not on the road. Because as we will discover, I have a bit of rage. Even as a passenger. Witness it today. Oh, yeah. That's What's this motherfucker doing over here? <laughs> <laughs> touché, sir. Touché. Yeah, so we, the four of us, our other one will maybe join us. I see some movement. So the four of us went to a winery that we're members of to grab our wine allotment for the season or whatever the fuck. <laughs> but we went to this winery. We had a lovely tasting. And then we sat outside and had more wine. It's hot, but the breeze was great. And so it was really, really lovely. So Nigel has witnessed some, just today, some, some shit from me. And that's fine, but that I'm just saying, this is where we're at. And Nigel, how long have I known you? It's been, what, 16 years? Well, Maybe how long have you two been together? Yeah, we met 16 years ago. Oh, we oh, met 16. Yeah, so you so and I like are at like 17, 18. 18. Yeah. yeah, we're at 18. Yeah. Okay, so there's been, there's been some witnessing. 18 years. We're now adults. <gasps> we are adults. Oh my god, we can go we to the UK and we have an adult relationship. Oh. 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 Dreams mm. have come true. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> well, I knew Nigel was a keeper when we had gone to... That was the night we went to the Little Shop of Horror show, right? Oh. Went to Sherry's after? Yeah. So it's like a, you know, like a sort of diner restaurant situation. Somewhat similar like to a, an IHOP, but maybe a class above. They got a ton uh, of pies. Oh, like a Shoney's, if you're in the South and you remember that place. Maybe Shoney's like. Yeah, I know you don't get it much. So, we went to Sherry's after and we were eating like breakfast food for late dinner, like fourth meal. And Was I really fucked up? No, I th we went, there was a time and when we went to Sherry's, I think it was after that show, and we were talking, and I real and you said that you knew who Westlife was. Oh, this, and this one, is yes. The no, I, was I do like, remember. Oh my yeah. god, this guy is too cool. Like I, I need to hang out with this guy. Yeah. Because you knew who Westlife was, and nobody else knew. And if you guys who are listening don't know Westlife, and I know I've mentioned them before, they're an Irish boy band. They're be they're beautiful. Oh my God, they're beautiful. Their voices are amazing. <laughs> they're lovely. They're angels upon the earth. You need to know who they are, especially Mark Fahili. He's a true angel on the earth, and I adore him. And look, I would love for Mark Fahili to be on the show. I just Mark Fahili or Chris Evans? Mark Fahili. Mark Fahili. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Hands down people. Yes, hands down Mark Fahili. Mm. I want him on the show because I fucking adore him. I think he's one of the most beautiful people on the planet. And I just I really I want him to know that I exist. <laughs> and honestly, I just want him to know that I exist in the world. It would just make me so happy. And I, he does technically know I exist in the world because he's seen me. Because I was first and fourth row during the Westlife Liverpool shows in 2019. And so we've made <laughs> eye contact. He has seen me with my sequin rainbow tank top just to show that I'm an ally and I love him so. And I just adore him. He's beautiful and his voice is amazing. And I know that he knows that I exist because he's seen me, even though he won't remember me, but technically he knows that I'm here. Once again, all tangents lead to Westlife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry, you guys, but you know, here we are. Yes, Mark Veely, please be on the show. <laughs> I won't, I won't be crazy. I'll be cool. Will you? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, remember I'm high, so I'm kind of running along on yeah. okay, whatever so tangents are thrown at me. Other drivers. Other drivers. Yeah. What's happening? Drivers, parkers. So there's a lot of things we can kind of cover here. I mean, I'm sure we've all had fucking stupid ass people driving around us, <laughs> witness them, <laughs> had to navigate away from them. Okay. Oh my. Yelled at them. <laughs> it's not to spit wine. I just keep pushing her. Yeah. Save the table. It's gonna come out her nose. I swallowed. It just made me laugh because I realized that we got on the West Life tangent because we were talking about how I don't try. <laughs> the main reason is panic attacks. I think I mentioned that. You're you're welcome. And then it got into Mark Fahili. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens quickly. So I'm sorry about that. But yes, okay. Other drivers. Well, I want Nigel to like start ranting because I feel like you know the people have heard a lot of me. But not not much of Nigel. Well, so I know you have a, a parking issue right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, one we live in Portland. Yeah. If you don't know, Portland they Oregon. like just in case. Yeah, just... Portland, Oregon, not Maine. They like to not fix the roads and allow the developers to build buildings without any parking garages. And then the new thing, because of COVID, is they think everyone wants to eat outside in the rain, so they have taken all the parking to put seating, outdoor seating, for the restaurant. Some like 8,500 parking spots have been taken up now or something. But it hasn't yes. rained for like 37 days, so what do you want them to do? <laughs> the fuck does the rain have to do you with people it. parking? You were like, the people want to eat in the rain. <laughs> well, in the winter, that's what they think. Oh, okay. You're but just saying, unless they're, they're like the true the Portlander crazy right. whatever, yeah. nobody wants to like drag a wool blanket and their hoodie and their parka <laughs> to go eat whatever the that's fuck. That's a lot of layers to eat in. Yeah. You know? I know? You should see some of the crazy shit I've seen like, driving why aren't down you the just, road. In that many layers, why aren't you glamping? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that many fucking layers? You want to be in a parka and a hoodie and a wool blanket while you're eating? Is that what you want? Well, it just must. Go. it's important to these people to go out and eat. God forbid just they make anything at home. Go to the fucking mountain and do your little camping food. I don't know what they do when they camp. I don't do that. That's not for me. We are aware. Yeah. I yes. mean, that's a whole nother topic is Haley Haynes camping, but... But anyways, there is no parking in Portland. They'd much rather spend money on green and red paint for the fucking bikers and buses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the millions of dollars they've spent in the goddamn paint, they could have probably fixed a road or put some parking in somewhere. Anyways, we live in an area where parking is... Uh, very prime because everyone parks on our street to go walk around and do their shopping. There's an ice cream store not too far from here called Salt and Straw. True. Fucking good mm, shit. True, true. It, that one is worth the walk. Isn't that, don't they have a <laughs> lavender honey one? Is that they the one? They do. It's I love so that good. One. Yeah. There's a strawberry balsamic flavor that I know sounds yeah, insane, but pepper. it's delightful fucking delightful mm -hmm. and then they have different shit every month right that has to do with yeah they have their monthly and it can be flavors. like oh what was that one bone marrow and apricot or some shit yeah like, they just put there all was of these goat crazy cheese flavors. and balsamic one time <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah i remember that mm -hmm. one yeah and you know they're unexpectedly delicious yeah for the they most one part one. they had one with like Little little fried ants, right? That oh, that like yeah. the horror one or yeah. whatever Halloween one. Yeah, but it's I really haven't had anything bad there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. So Nigel is like right. He's right there. He's like a couple yeah. blocks or something from that shit. So prime prime parking yeah. spots. Yeah, we see we we've got the bus stop. I mean, we see it all. You sit out on the front porch, you can watch. All the idiots drive, you can watch the idiots walk. 
<laughs> and you had big protests here during all of the... Just up to like two or three months ago, every Saturday between 11 and 1, the <laughs> protests, Black Lives Matter protests oh, went damn. down the street. Right. Yeah, and, and they had a couple of different routes because sometimes they'd come up the street this way or sometimes they'd go down over there. and Yeah, I don't know, but every Saturday. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Part in the middle or in the middle of everything, but yeah, and then the parking. Mm -hmm. The parking is bad. Like you know, you could fit so many cars per whatever, but people don't seem to understand that. And then they one car takes up two parking spots. And for those of us that live here, and especially when you go to work at one o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. you don't want to walk two blocks mm -hmm. to your car. And then even like some of the houses around here don't have like driveways or garages. Yeah, it's like everybody's street parking. Right, and then you add in all the people that just drive over and new apartment complexes. Uh, yeah, too many. There's too many people on Earth. Quite honestly, I know that's controversial or whatever, but <laughs> and I know I said that wrong, but shut the fuck up. It's just there's too many people. There are too many people. I just, there's too many people, so, you know. Again, I wish we could choose who goes and who stays, but that's not my job. No. Unfortunately, because I would be way harsher than that if I was the CEO of the TVA. population management. Yeah. You should work for the TVA. I should. You I should. should. Yeah. Now, Not a variance I, I just, I want, speaking of variance, can we just take a moment? All of the the variant possibilities of our lives and how they could have like gone in different directions, mm -hmm. the people we could meet, the mm -hmm. amount of Mark Vahili's that might be existing in the universe or other planes <laughs> of existence. It's just it's a lot to take on. <laughs> the amount of variants that could be out there. And also there I wonder could be a lot. Uh, here's the other thing. I don't particularly think that what's his name what loki yeah the loki guy tom hiddleston tom hiddleston sorry buddy i just don't think that he's exceptionally attractive no i don't I just, think he's all that attractive. i don't particularly think he's attractive but i wonder what he'd look like in person do you know what i'm saying yeah like yeah. all loki up the long <laughs> hair and everything i just wonder what, if he would be more like commanding of presence oh i'm sure he's got presence but he i want to see know. him do a part where he's a shy nerd actually get on it it's call in play. right in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. call your senator <laughs> <laughs> okay i will do that i will get on it let's get loki to do some nerd shit oh well it's become my top priority i'll throw mini one dollar bills at it oh okay yeah can you, can I just like stand under a balcony and you like make it rain on me and I just be like, oh my God, I didn't have to take my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be cool. That would feel nice. I just want to make it, make it do rain. Do you want the money shower or the golden shower? How do you want it to rain? Uh, only money shower. <laughs> Thank you. No, no goldens about it. Just the money. I'll give so. you all the one dollar bills. Mm, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One little gnat flying around this yeah. room. It loves me. It loves me and my oh, wine. It keeps changing people. Well, put your wine down. Let it crawl in and die. No. I don't want bug wine. <laughs> I want a bug graveyard wine. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I am excited to do a graveyard photo shoot, though, because... Be careful. What? Well, you know, the one time I went to a cemetery with my camera, I took a picture, and the back of it, this is before all the modern day technology, like film camera. we actually had film in our cameras, okay. and the, literally, I took a picture, the back of the camera popped open, and of course that caused the film to kind of spiral out. It was like something out of a freaking movie. What? Yeah, the ghosts did not want me to take their picture oh that night. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, technology has changed. It so. has, but... Uh-oh, what else did you do in a graveyard? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always been a good boy. I'm respectful of the dead. 
Oh, well, that's a first. Except for taking a picture that I wasn't supposed right. to. Even with modern technology, yeah. I'd be curious if, like, he went to go take a picture and mm -hmm. nothing happened. Yeah, no, you that's know, something interesting. Went and and generally, it it's because they're pulling from that energy so they can try to present themselves. Yeah. I don't know if you'll watch ghost shows or not, but that's just like a ghost 101. I don't, but I understand okay. what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And man, this is this. There's a lot of topics to cover, and I want to come back to that. I will keep an eye on the camera when we're doing the photo shoot. You know, mm -hmm. maybe Sean will start taking your picture, and little random ghosts will be in the background. I welcome them. I said, "Come on, I tell me who you are. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't infiltrate the body. Don't come home with me." But I appreciate your existence and your assistance in this photo mm -hmm. shoot. Yeah. Make it yeah. more real. Yeah. Do an EVP while we're doing the photo shoot. We could totally do an EVP while we do the photo shoot. Mm -hmm. That would be great. There you go. So this this brings me, we're totally off topic and we will get back to it. Do you believe in ghosts, Nigel? I've never asked oh, yeah, you that. I do. Yeah? Oh, Have yeah. you seen a ghost? No. Oh, okay. But I believe that it exists. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. just like aliens. I mean, we can't be the only bastards on the in the right? whole universe. There's gotta be some other assholes out exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> let's 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 just be honest. We don't have like Area fifty one or this weird <laughs> UFO sighting for nothing. Right. You know. Some they, shit is going down somewhere. Some shit happens somewhere and there's some truth to it. Sean, have you seen a ghost? You've been very quiet. It's just me and Nigel bouncing off of each uh, other. I don't think I I've wish seen I was bouncing a ghost. off of you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not just being too flirty. <laughs> so you don't think you've seen a ghost? Sorry. I don't think so. Do you believe? But do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, like in some sort of energy out there okay. affecting things. I noticed y'all aren't asking me if I've seen a ghost. Have you it's, seen a ghost, Haley? Yeah, I have. Where and when and how and why? <clears throat> oh, shit, okay. Were any of them driving cars, no? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it. I'm sorry. Nigel has a lot of stuff to cover. There's, we've I'm sorry, people. Lives. They brought me on, and this is what happens. It's okay. The people enjoy it. Yes, I've seen a ghost. It was my father both times. Yeah, and actually, no there was another time, it was a, a completely different person that I didn't know, but I'll tell you that in a minute. So, the first time I saw my dad, it was at my high school graduation. So, for y'all that don't know, my dad died when I was 17. It was like two days before my 18th birthday. And I graduated high school a month after that. And I was really upset. There was a lot of hullabaloo, like we'll get into that later. But I ended up, you know, going to graduation and going up to the thing to get my diploma and all of that. As I was going back to my seat and people were clapping and stuff, I saw my dad in the back of the auditorium. And you know, he had been dead for a month at that point. And I, I did like a double take and then he wasn't there, but I saw him. And he was in this outfit that he always wore to church, like this plaid shirt and sort of khaki jeans or whatever. And I was just like, oh my God, he, you know, he saw me graduate, that's cool. Wow, yeah, yeah. And then the second time I saw him, I was sleeping. Sean and I were living together at that point. And I woke up in the middle of the night and my dad was standing at our dresser in the corner of the room. And he looked kind of like a, a cloud or a mist, you know? But it was the shape of him and you could kind of see the details of his face. But I sat up in bed and I saw him and my eyes were trying to adjust because that, you know, you think like, what the, f I'm not right. seeing that, yeah. that's insane. And he turned and it was my dad and I recognized him and then he just kind of dissipated like from a mist into oh, just, wow. you know, nothing. Yeah. And I started crying <laughs> and I woke Sean up. And I was just like, oh my God, I just saw my dad. I don't know what to think or what to do. And I know that I was awake and not sleeping. And I just thought I was crazy. Just crazy, yeah. Yeah, because it, it was just so real. And then there was a time pr prior to that 
where I was on the bus going to my job at Michael's, the craft store. And so it was like an early Sunday morning or something. And it was just me and the driver of the bus. And then I think it was a lady with a newspaper at the very front. It was just another person. And I was sort of in the middle of the bus and I smelled my dad's cologne and just this really like warm feeling like someone was hugging me and it was the cologne smell was so strong and nobody else you know was on the bus besides these two other people and me and nobody had moved or changed anything or done anything but it's just this really strong smell oh, wow. and the moment that i realized what it was like it smells like my dad's cologne it just started to like slowly you know dissipate and go out and I was just like, oh my God, did anybody else smell that? I was looking around right. like if anybody else noticed that, I nobody did. And I was like, well, that must be my dad. I think that was maybe a year or something after he died. So wow. a visitation or something, yeah. you know. There's no other explanation. I, I It never happened before and it never happened again. And so that was my, my little things. But then the other thing is when I lived in Boston, my friends and I went to Salem for the day and we we were walking around Salem looking at different things and this guy, we're at this big fountain and this guy in a, like a tank top and shorts came up to us and said, do you want me to take your picture? Because there were four of us, right? And we were just taking turns, taking couple photos, you know? And we're like, oh sure, that's great. We gave him our camera. We went out to the middle of the fountain because there were like stepping stones out and we had him take our picture. Now, this was during the film camera days so we didn't see it instantly. Later on when I had the film developed and I got the pictures back, in the picture of us, the four of us as a group, the guy that took our photo is in the photo in the background waving. Oh, what? That's crazy. And I, we got the photos back, and I, I was just like, wait a second, that's the guy that took this photo. And I kept looking at it, and I was like, you guys. That's crazy. That's yeah. the guy that took our fucking photo, and he's in the photo waving. Like, that's not possible. That's weird. And they're like, oh, what, what? You know, they weren't paying attention like I was, but that was the guy. And I, I'll post the photo on Instagram. Wow. <laughs> it's really weird. And it's like the only thing where I have tangible, it's not even proof because no one was there to see it happen. But yeah. that's the only thing where I'm like, no, that guy took this photo. There's no way for him <laughs> to be in the photo. So I'll post it on Instagram. I'm sorry. There's so many tangents. There's so much to talk about. Those are my ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't seen a ghost driver, to my knowledge. So... At one point, I was going to... I was tempted to start, like, an Instagram feed for people who park at uh, Whole Foods. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my God. Every time I went to Whole Foods, someone was parked like shit. Like, what do you mean, like, shit? Like, on the line. Like, what or about like, like, diagonal? Yeah, and diagonal and stuff. And then... Did they have a fancy-ass car? Oh, yeah, most of the time. It's oh, like, okay. They got their Beamer, Mercedes. Oh, watching out for the scratches, you know, being yeah. assholes. Yeah. yeah. But then there's also, like, like when you go to Lowe's, there's, like, the big trucks that park like shit. And I, I always feel that's, like, that guy's got too much truck. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, well, they should... Yeah. He that, can't park, he can't handle that much truck, and that's why yeah. he can't park right. Yeah. Yeah, when when your sack is so small, it makes you think your dick is big, that's when you get a big truck. <laughs> well, that's one way to say it. And I'm just keeping it real. I used to drive this, <clears throat> this shitty little, I don't know, it's like, I forget what year it was. It might have been like a 1990, like, Chevy Cavalier. Oh, it was, it was I pretty. It was those. small. It was real <laughs> shitty. Some of the paint on the hood was peeling or something. And I'd see those people parked right on the line. I'd be like, "All right, okay, I'll park next to you." Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I don't give a shit. They can, bang the shit they out of my door. I don't care. I paid like four hundred dollars for this car. <laughs> Like, the parking lot situation is different than what I deal with. Because the people out here on these streets, they just are not aware. Nobody cares enough to be aware of their surroundings. Mm, truth. And mm -hmm. see what the fuck is going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
if you park somewhere and you get out and you look and you're like well if i pull forward a foot then maybe three other cars could park behind me but right now i'm picking up two parking spots be aware people or i'm gonna come beat a bitch <laughs> he'll do it mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. no no qualms about it i have joaquin two years ago for christmas he mm -hmm. got me these little cards and if i had them here i would sure exactly what they say but they're in my car and they say things like like your big penis syndrome didn't help you park your <laughs> big ass truck or there's one that's like you park like a dumb ass yeah and there's like 20 different sayings on these cards and you better believe anyone who parks like an asshole on this street they get one of my little cards i was gonna ask have you used them oh nice. i've used them a lot out here oh, that good. That yellow car that you parked in front of? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That bitch well, used to be parked in both those parking spots. <laughs> oh. Guess what? They park correctly now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what you gotta do. I mean, you know, the dickhead next door can't get the message, but it's okay. Yeah. I'll keep giving him cards. I don't care. So my grandma used to live in uh, this apartment complex, but she had the end unit. And next door to the, to the apartments was the fire department so it and the police department was right across the street from there so there sometimes there was issues in other parts of the city but mm -hmm. she was always safe so it was always fine and never any issues you know great little place for her to be that my grandma lived to be very old but it, even at this time she was like 80 and uh -huh. yeah she she lived on her own she was fiery she didn't go move in with my uncle until she was like 92 or 93. Damn. But yeah, yeah. Anyways, so one day she's sitting in her living room watching TV and all of a sudden she hears this pounding on the side of the of her apartment on the wall. It's like just this pounding and it's the wall that faces towards the fire department. So it's not like there's anybody over there or anything. There's a little patch of lawn that goes through like a, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Anyways, so she's like, what? What is that? So for any, well, if you ever knew my grandma, she she didn't mix her words, <laughs> let's say. And, you know, fuck was nothing for her to say. <laughs> so as she's relaying this story to me on the phone, she goes, Nathan, I couldn't figure out what it was. So I walk out the door and I look around the corner. You know what I saw? <laughs> These two little teenagers were fucking on the side of my wall. <laughs> she goes, so you know what I did? I went and got the hose. <laughs> I said, listen here. Go pull your pants up and fuck somewhere else. Get off my wall. <laughs> Could you imagine if you walked outside of your house and people are just fucking right there? Oh my God. I'm just, just pounding it out. Come on. Go yeah. to the bathhouse for that, at least, for Christ's so sake. I don't want to watch it yeah. in my front yard. You... People these days, I tell you. I know. And drivers. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Have you ever seen anybody boning in a car? Oh my God, I haven't. Yeah? Yeah. Where was it? It was like a... Where... I can't remember. It was years ago. All I remember is I was taking some friends home, like after the bar or something like that, and wherever i went to go drop them off there was a car parked across the street and the windows were very foggy <laughs> and there was a rocking motion to the car oh my gosh i can't even remember what that yeah i just remember like the visual of that and i was like oh someone's having a good night tonight <laughs> but yeah Oh, and then there was this other time when <laughs> you know I got stories. I know you got yeah. stories. You want to yeah. talk about shit happening to people? Mm -hmm. Come talk to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was this other time that I... there. Where was that? One of the places that I lived. I can't remember which one it was, but I just remember that both places, if you looked out the front window, it was like across the parking lot or whatever and i just i happened to be like walking by the window and it was at night and i thought oh i should go close the blinds because you know now it's like nine <laughs> o'clock at night so i walked over to go close the blinds and i noticed that 
there was like a car across the street like it was unusual it wasn't Mm -hmm. like it kind of like caught my eye and so i was like well that's weird i wonder so i look over yeah i mean you could from and we're talking quite a distance out my window across the parking (laughs) lot you know whatever you could tell that car was rocking and rolling (laughs) oh my goodness yeah Mm -hmm. and then a half hour later i was like i wonder so you know (laughs) said to peek yep car was gone wow (laughs) somebody's got to take me to a nice hotel if that's the case you know what i'm saying like these hips weren't made for oh, a car. You're a classy hooker. Affair. Yeah, I'm a classy <laughs> hooker. <laughs> Treat me like the lady that I am. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, this shit is good. And it's well worth it. <laughs> but I need to be treated well. And, you know, it doesn't have to be the most expensive thing in the world. But I'm saying. Okay. This has gone on lots of tangents. Here's one that Haley definitely doesn't like. Oh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Cars with loud ass music. Oh my god, I fucking hate oh, it. Oh, you wouldn't last in Puerto Rico. No, I wouldn't. They build. It's hot, first they of all. build speakers what? and <laughs> systems on the backs of their cars <laughs> and drive down the road. Be bopping and pounding and whatever. The headphones were invented for a reason. Yes, I'm you want to listen to your shit? Listen to it to yourself. Yeah. All right. I don't. I don't want to hear your shit. When we went to Glacier National Park, we're talking like there's not a whole lot of people up there, and we were hiking in a place. We expected to see some bears. We didn't at that certain location. We did see some fucking millennials. What were they doing? Listening to Justin Bieber so everybody could hear him. On their Bluetooth speaker. When I'm out in nature, I want to hear fucking nature. All right? I want to hear the birds chirping. I want to hear the breeze going through the trees. I want to hear the grass crunching under the foot of a beautiful red fox. I don't want to hear Justin Bieber. So here's the thing. I don't like loud music. I don't, I just don't want to hear your shit. Okay. This isn't a party. If you're, if you're having a bonfire on the beach, fine. Okay. Play your Ed Sheeran or whatever. If, if I'm having a bonfire on the beach, I'm not playing New Kids on the Block at, you know, whatever decibels. I am enjoying the ocean roar. I'm enjoying nature as it's intended. I'm not looking to hear technology and shit. No. I'm not like looking at my phone all the time. I'm staring at the goddamn yeah. ocean. I go to relax. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I don't want to hear your shit. Keep it to yourself. If you want to hear a meditation, if you want to hear Justin Bieber, if you want to hear, I don't know, whales fucking the ocean, that's up to you. <laughs> but that's why headphones were invented. <laughs> All right? I'm not going to subject you to my shit. I don't want to be subjected to yours. I, I feel like there's a lot of dudes that, like, bruh, bruhs out there that mm-hmm. drive around in their car blaring some, like, you know, deep cut Metallica or something. And they're like, <laughs> there's some chick out there who's going to just, like, fucking, she's going to get so wet on Her my, on my deep cut Metallica song. By she's going to start blowing me. Yeah. I mean, this it's is. going to be so metal. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. Right? Straight. Yeah. I know. Right. <laughs> Fucking breeders. God. That was that was my other possible topic for this. But breeders? Maybe we can do that another uh, episode. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we'll definitely have to have you back. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Hi, Joaquin! Ooh. We're joined by Joaquin. It's Joe Quietin. Hello, beautiful. How are you feeling? Yeah, we want you to be a part of our conversation. Mm-hmm. Did you have a good nap? No. There's a bunch of people yelling and laughing. <laughs> Just bitching I about random stuff. I think he's calling us annoying. Mm. Looking. <clears throat> well, we're talking about drivers, how much we hate them. Parkers. Just everything that everybody does wrong. Them. Here's the thing that I've witnessed as a passenger is that people will change lanes really swiftly 
and close to a light and that's illegal and I know that because I've read the book I've actually read the book and this was also that was a while ago and I still remember it even though I don't drive is that you're not supposed to do that well, that's wrong for all the illegal shit that I have done driving right <laughs> that is one thing that I don't do that's good I'm yeah, glad because yeah. it's dangerous yeah. yeah, and it's fucking yeah. rude. And I, I have shot a bird at people who have maybe <laughs> driven poorly. It's very rare. It's only <laughs> happened maybe five times in my lifetime. So I had to think for a minute when you said shot a bird middle at finger. Them. I figured it out, but yeah, I was think I had this mental picture of you with a gun oh, no. shooting a bird oh, out no, of it never. at somebody. I mean, you're older than me. Why don't you know what oh, that is? Bitch by a year. <laughs> Still older Not than me. Not so much. Still older than me. I know. Than well, me. your husband's older than me, so, you know. Oh, that's true. I have to have one daddy in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do always like to bring some sort of multimedia experience. Uh-oh. Would you guys like to watch a YouTube video? Sure. Joaquin says yes, absolutely. I would love to. He, Joaquin can't wait. He's excited about it. Okay, I thought something that I think we can all kind of get behind. This motherfucker's showing off and fucking up. I mean, you yeah, show I off? like a little showing off, but you can't show off and fuck it up. It'll be in the show notes. It's like, it's called When Showing Off Goes Wrong. Show Off Fails 2019 Come. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh lord, it's a bouncy car, y'all. Those <gasps> Wow. Why are you driving? It's like uh what is it? The hangover or whatever when he like <gasps> Oh my god. Almost just ran over a whole bunch of people. This is why I don't drive. It's because all <laughs> these people are awful. Hey, let me go pick your bumper up off the what oh no. shit. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were going to hit the guy. Just crunching a couple Mercedes, you know. These guys in the Mustangs, Douche man. Bag. They really... Is that what that is? Yeah. I don't, I don't know oh! cars from cars. <laughs> That's the thing. Oh, you the cops show up. Oh, my lord. <laughs> the cops sitting right there. <laughs> oh. I got in trouble. Oh, he's getting his arrested. Car. I stay on the Mario Kart raceway better than that. <laughs> it's like 20 feet and crashes it. And these are like expensive. So That's a Lamborghini. Really, yeah, really expensive cars. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my Ooh. god, that's a $250,000 car. Now, yeah. when my mom took me driving, that's what you think I would have been doing, the way that she described it. <laughs> but actually, I was not hitting the minivan that was there. Oh, well, that's good. And that's what I think she thought was going to happen. <laughs> it's just like driving into the next lane. Right. I'm sorry if the shit teachers I had were shit. My mom, no. My stepdad pointed to the left and said, right, right. I went to the left because it seems like the body would make you move right. more than, than the mind. Yes. And he got mad. Why didn't you go right? Why didn't you go right? Like you, you were pointing left. You were almost poking my eye out. I thought that was more important. It's not like anybody was coming. Yeah. We were on a country road. No. He wouldn't take me anywhere after that. <laughs> Driving. Oh, wow. That's all I got. Wow. Was And then my friend's mom made me drive her Mercedes in a fucking residential area. And I was terrified that I was going to crash <laughs> this car that I couldn't afford to pay for. Why no. was she making you drive it? Because she thought I should try driving again. Like, this doesn't make it better, lady. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't make it better. More? That's it. That's pretty much it. It's my mom was like, no, no, don't drive into the minivan. That's what my mom sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> and she grabbed the wheel. And as she's grabbing the wheel, she mm -hmm. makes me go closer to the minivan when I wasn't even going to be near it. I was driving wow. into the next lane. I was taking a turn, you know? Right. Like one of those things where 
she grabs like to pull it back but pushes but the other pushes way. pushes it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, she thinks that she's in the right because it went that way when it wouldn't have happened if she hadn't touched it, you know? And so she was like, I'm not going driving with you ever again, even though it was her fault. That's my mom. That's a whole other thing. I hate narcissists. But also, <laughs> <laughs> then when my stepdad took me out, he did the thing where everything was fine. We're going the back way in the country roads and shit. And then we get to this turn and he's like, go right, go right. But he's pointing left. I'm uh, like, well, the movement is stronger right. to me than, than what you're saying. So I turned left. And then he got all bit out of shape that I turned left instead of right. And I tried to explain, well, your body was telling you to go left when you're saying right. I thought your mind was just wrong. Right. <laughs> and so I had to pull over into a parking lot. He had to drive after that oh or whatever. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I got dealt. Okay? So, also, <laughs> I was abused to the point where I didn't think I was capable of anything. That's why I don't drive. And Sean is trying to take me driving. I'm good at parking. I'm great in empty parking lots. Mm -hmm. But then... I start to have a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. If I get on a fucking road, if there's someone behind me, I fucking panic. That's why I don't drive, because it's terrifying. It's basically, you know, a weapon of mass destruction. Mm -hmm. And you can take someone out. Very well, we just yeah. saw and, in the video. Yeah, as, as you've seen, there are a lot of stupid people on the road who do have a driver's license, and I don't trust them. So. Yeah. I try to stay off the road. People suck. They're stupid. And I hate people. And you hear that first. Here. Haley hates everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We didn't introduce the people to Muffy and Buffy. Drawing. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I'm Muffy. And I'm Buffy. And we... Are Muffy and Buffy. <laughs> I love that we've got the peanut gallery over here just watching us like, what the fuck are you two doing? You got me up for this? <laughs> oh, he's amused. And not amused at the same time. He's munching on, what is that shit called? Chex Mix? Gardettos, baby. Gardettos. This oh. isn't a Chex Mix house. Oh. oh. Speaking of Chex Mix, I love them fucking uh, Buddy Buddies. Muddy Buddies? How yeah. the fuck did we go from <laughs> Chex Mix to Muddy, muddy Buddies? Bu right, what's a Muddy I Buddy? I think Muddy Buddies are like Chex Mix, but for the sweetie men. Yeah, they got they got like the, like, I don't know, like moms powder, would make sugar, them. sugar, cocoa it's powder, It's got like some peanut shit. butter and chocolate. Are they tart or chocolatey? They're chocolatey. It's, They're it's a sweet treat. Peanut butter and chocolate <laughs> mixed together. <laughs> And then mixed in with Chex Mix, and then you put some powdered sugar on them. Oh, I've never, I, so what you're describing, I've seen, but I've never heard it called a Muddy Buddy. Yep. You can actually, it Chex sounds like a bad hookup off Grinder. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry you took it down to edit it. Yeah, you guys, if you're having trouble listening to the last podcast, I deleted Join it because the crowd. I fucked up the end of it and I had to redo it because it won't just let me just gently fix it. I have to fucking delete everything and then repost it. So if you're having trouble listening to the last podcast, because you, you definitely need to hear my point, then just like reload your shit or, you know, go to the next thing because it's there. It's just redone. And you got to hear this bitch's poem. I think I can recite it from memory now that I've heard it so many times. It's a little yes, bit I don't remember. Queen, yes. <laughs> Joaquin's crunching. <laughs> Tell me you don't want to be on a podcast without telling me you don't want to be on a podcast. <laughs> Just loud ass crunching on some Chex Mix pretzels. He's like, I'm making my presence known without yeah. making my presence known. Yeah, he's like, I'm here, but I'm not going to speak. My name is Joaquin. <laughs> I'm from the street. <laughs>
he rhymes. I was trying to, I was wondering. I was wondering, I was like, mm, where's she going to go? Because street is where I went. Mm-hmm. I have, And if you know, we were not so fucked up, maybe we would have found a better ending. But, you know, totally. shit happened. What are you going to do? This is what it is. A boo boo boo. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah, I make a lot of rhymes because I make a lot of songs about my chihuahuas. And so every song is about chihuahuas. And I could totally do a whole podcast on my Chihuahua songs. No, I... You sure, believe me, I, right? Oh, I know. You believe me, right? I mean, I, you know, me and Duke had really mm-hmm. awesome rhymes and conversations really? together. Really? Yeah. What was his voice like? He never had a voice. Oh, it was okay. just me talking. It was... It was just you? Yeah. Oh, when okay. I lived at home, that was my release. Oh, okay. Like, you know... I could go home, nobody was there, I could talk to the dog. Oh, okay. But he never had a voice? You never gave him a voice? No, I didn't. Oh. No, it was just me talking to him, and then <laughs> we'd, we'd wrestle around on the floor and play. Well, what about your dog, Sean? What was his name? Oh, Barney? Barney. Did he have a voice? Oh, gosh, I don't think so. It's a long time ago. He was our chihuahua, and his tongue hung, hung out because he was blind and deaf, and he didn't have but, like, two teeth in the back. <laughs> Oh, beloved Rusty, who passed away in 2013. No, it was after radiation. It was 2014. That's when Rusty and Kiki died. Wow. That's our our beloved senior chihuahuas. Miss P passed away in 2012. And then, yeah, Tuddy waited till I was out of radiation from thyroid cancer. And so that was, was April of 2014 when he passed away. And then Kiki waited till, like... New Year's Eve of that year to go. Oh, yeah. So I do. there's a yeah. lot of dog spirits that I would love to communicate with. But all of my dogs have had a voice. Like Bobo. <laughs> Let's see. How did Bobo talk? Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm trying to do the Bobo voice. I'm trying to do the Bobo voice. <laughs> it's weird. You know, when you don't do it for a while, you forget what it sounded like. Don't you hate that? Yeah. Because I've done that like where I've known that I've done a voice. Like yeah. especially Chewbacca. Chewbacca is the hardest. But I know that I've done I know that I've done a good Chewbacca. Right. And then there's times when I try and do it and I'm like, oh fuck, I fucked that up. Like that was bad. <laughs> and then, you know, like six yeah. months later and you're drunk and you're in a party you and you're like, listen it. to my Chewbacca and then it comes out perfectly. Yeah, and that's something I want to get to. I don't remember the Bobo voice off the top of my head, but he had a whole voice. Well, what was Rusty's voice? Rusty was the cinnamon buyer. He was a, a wonderful southern gentleman. Well, cinnamon who bile. Who talked like it was maple syrup coming off of his mouth. <laughs> he was a cinnamon <laughs> bile. That was Rusty. The maple syrup coming yeah, out of his like, mouth? Yeah, it was just like oozing mm-hmm. out of his mouth. And he was mm. southern too. Kiki's voice. Kiki, he was more like... He was a gentleman, but he was a little British boy. Oh, for a minute there. And he had a little... I almost thought you were going to give me little... Italian mafia. No. <laughs> he was just a little schoolboy from from England. He was just a wee bit. Just a wee bit of a lad. He was just a little boy. Hey, Lassie, come here. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, I'm a little schoolboy, so I like some more. He did have that cute little hat that he wore. <laughs> yeah, and he had the cute, like, alpaca hair where it was just like his forehead yeah. was really yeah. fluffy. <laughs> And what and was Mrs. P's voice? So she, I'm asking, Mrs. P really I'm well asking well. about these three because yeah. besides Finn and Dobby, yeah. those were the three mm-hmm. dogs that you had when I ventured into your boudoir. Yes. You want to do life. Mrs. P's voice, Sean? Remember, she had like a lower voice where it was more like this. She'd be like, "You fucking bitches, you stupid bitches, you that stupid was, bitches." That was more like her voice. And then okay. she would run at us and like bark and she stuff. She was a true Chihuahua. Yes. Yeah. She had the accent. She had the, yeah, attitude, accent. Oh, she everywhere. had attitude, I remember. <laughs> and do you know Finn and Dobby's voices? I do not. Okay. 
I'm Finn. I'm a precious boy. And I love my mom and I follow her around <laughs> everywhere. And I'm so sweet and everyone should love me. And please give me attention. <laughs> I'm just a precious boy and I'm the baby of the family. That's Finn. Okay. And this is Dobby. <laughs> That's what I would expect. <laughs> I'm Dobby, and I love food, and I think it's like the best thing ever, and I really want some more. <laughs> Please give me some food right now. Like right now, I'm starving, and I really, really want some food, and I can't wait for more. I'll do I anything. see that as Dobby for sure. I'll do anything for food. I promise. Please give me some food. Please, please, mom and dad, please. <laughs> That's Dobby. That's more like his thing. Do you do any impressions, Joaquin? Besides just like, you know, Penn and Teller and some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Penn and Teller. <laughs> Do you know who Penn and Teller is, Joaquin? He doesn't. They're the magicians that don't talk. Well, one of them talks. Oh, yeah. The one... Teller doesn't talk. You're the yeah. Teller in this situation. Yeah, Teller doesn't talk. Penn talks. Penn does all the Penn, talking. I do want to, like, I want to hear all of our Chewbacca impressions. Okay. So, if we want to go around the table and Chewbacca, that would be begin? great. Well, I think you should start. You're the guest. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me take a second. Joaquin, do you have a, a Chewbacca impression? No. He's Spanish, but he can't roll those R's. Okay. <clears throat> no, that's wrong. That is so high-pitched. <laughs> Just look at Joaquin over there trying not to laugh on the microphone. <laughs> Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> That's like Chewbacca mm. who's gay at a drag show. <gasps> I just said gay Chewbacca. Gay Chewbacca. Hey, queens. Yeah. Yes. Get Prostitution it. horses. Well, there we go. But that's not what you wanted to hear. No. <laughs> Let me, let me get in character. It has to be like deeper. I haven't done a Chewbacca in a while. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've done a Chewbacca, you Never don't go, go Baca. Baca. <laughs> And you thought my shit was bad. <laughs> How the fuck are you sitting there, stone face over that shit, and I go, <laughs> and it's all you can do to not spit your food out all over me. For you people at home, we are talking to Joaquin, mm -hmm. the mute. What are our other old school impressions? Nigel. Old school impressions? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? Like old from school. From our time of impressions. <laughs> when you and I were taking the streets of Portland. Oh, when you were praising Jesus? Do you remember that? I do remember that, yeah. yeah. You were a good preacher, I used man. To praise Jesus. Preacher woman. I said, mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. Jesus is the Almighty. Praise it, Queen. Jesus. No, nothing from Joaquin. He's scratching his head. He's pushing his hair back with a fucking fake hand. <laughs> Think of like Happy Gilmore fake hand where it's just like a giant plexiglass like fucking fake hand. It's like Saturday Night Live. What's, what's yeah. the bitch's name? Uh, I don't uh, know. Kristen Wiig when she that way when she has little, little, little hands. baby hand, little baby hand. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little baby hand wiping the hair away from his face, like he's totally unamused. I did get high tonight. Just did you really? Your, yeah, I, I ate, didn't know that. I thought you just drank. I ate that whole fucking gummy. Joaquin, did you get high? Is that why you're being such a prick right now? <laughs> Joaquin says, yes, that's why I'm being a prick. I'm fucking high. And that's why I choose not to speak. 
Because I'm mysterious and beautiful. If He's still Chris looking Evans. disdainfully in my direction. I did have one last PSA for <clears throat> people. Sean's corner here. If people keep like flashing you their brights and you're like, ah, I, why do they keep doing this? I, I don't have my brights on. It's probably because you got one of your headlights aimed wrong, okay? I'm sorry, I still can't get past the fact that Sean just designated that he has a corner of the show. Oh no, it's where he airs his grievances. <laughs> yes, but this is the first I've heard of Sean's corner. Really? He's talked about it a few times. Did you watch the video of him doing his magic tricks? I listen to your podcast, <laughs> bitch. I don't watch videos. What kind of fan of the show are you? What Def kind of support are you I'm really giving? I'm a definite... <laughs> Hater. You hate the show or you just hate me? Both. <laughs> oh! I knew those of you were out there. I'm a true <laughs> hating bitch. Sashay away. So, thank you everyone. Please, if you enjoyed this, share us with your friends. Like I said, your knitting group, your, your, if you have a group who stones tights regularly, please share us with them. Linda Evangelista. T tell Linda Evangelista, tell Mark Fahili about us, tell Chris Evans, tell Henry Cavill. We are here awaiting their presence. We can't <laughs> wait. It, it's, it would be so great. And please, if you have anything to share, thoughts, feedback, opinions, your own fucking hates, email us at HaleyHatesEverything at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram, all underscores between the words. Please check out the links. If you want to leave us a voicemail, make sure it's less than a minute long. Otherwise, <laughs> you can record it on your phone. There's dozens of apps. And you can email it to us at the aforementioned email address. And do like Brandon, friend of the podcast, did. And just email it to us. Otherwise, we accept whatever feedback. Nigel's looking at me like I'm insane. Maybe if you hated it. Maybe just, you know, gloss over that. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back next week with a little wrap up. Maybe we'll actually talk about some more drivers and stuff. <laughs> okay, sounds good. We, we love you and we adore you. And we hope that you come back next week. Thank Thanks. you, Nigel. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Joaquin. <laughs> well, he gave us entertainment. He even did. As a mute. I'm, no one else can see him, but he's he exists. And I hope, maybe, if this wasn't too terrible, I'll get to come back on again. I hope to see you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Peace. TTFN. <laughs>